This video is about motional EMF and the potential difference it's set up by moving a wire across a magnetic field. Recall the EMF is the voltage difference. So we talk about this in the EMFs, we're talking about voltage differences or the potential difference in the wire. So we take this rod, this metal conducting rod, and we put it in a magnetic field. And what we do is we move it. And when we move it, the question is which way will the positive charges move? So the rod is nothing more than a container that's holding the positive and negative charges. It might as well be a bottle that doesn't allow the charges to combine on their own, holding the charges. But the rod is just that kind of vehicle for it. So when I take it and I slide the charges across, you can see in the animation that they separate. So if I look at this and think about what's going on here, what happens is think about the open right-hand rule and the magnetic component of the Lorentz force. So the field is going into the paper, the thumb is pushing to the right because the charges moved across the screen from left to right. Even though they're on the wire, they still moved from left to right. They just happened to be in the wire. It's kind of like when you came to school, you know, you came to school, but you were in the car. So the car brought you here. It's the same idea here. The, the wire is just carrying the charges. So according to the open right hand rule, the positive charges are going to feel a force going upwards and negative charges behave oppositely. So they'll go downwards. So now positive at the top of the wire, negative at the bottom of the wire, and it's separated by this length L. So I have two things of separated charges that makes a battery. It also generates an electric field between these two separation of charges. Electric field is the path a positive particle would take. So a positive particle would be repelled from the plus side, attracted to the negative side. Now when you think about it, this is something similar to what we've studied in the past. So let's start here with this, uh, uh, this part of the analysis. In terms of a free body diagram, I have my two charges, let's say the positive charge, trying to come together. It's trying to go down to the negative, And the magnetic force is pushing the positive charge up. And this is only true while it's moving. Once it stops, all the charges go back. But while it's moving, this is true. So that means that QE is equal to QVB sine theta. Well, sine theta is just going to be 1. So QE is equal to QVB. The Qs cancel or divide out. So that means that E is equal to V times B. That's the electric field is equal to the velocity times the B field that the wire is in. Now, when you look at this, this wire, it's actually like something we've had before where we had two plates separated by distance connected to a potential difference. And they are separated by that distance d in my drawing. And when we looked at this, we knew that the voltage that the voltage or the potential difference that was attached to it is equal to E times D. Well if I just replace the D with an L, then I have V E L. And the electric field can be defined as a potential difference divided by the length between the two plates. In this case that can also be the wire as the length between the two ends of the wire. So V over L, that is voltage divided by the length of the wire, is equal to the velocity it's moving through the field times B. So the potential difference is equal to the length of the wire times the velocity times the B field it moves across. Notice that how important that velocity is. This is saying that the potential difference, or the EMF, is directly proportional to the velocity. So if the velocity goes to zero, leave the wire alone, there will no longer be a potential difference or an EMF.